I suppose astrobiology is driven by the desire to understand if we're all alone in the universe. I think we kind of understand that, but it's kind of defining the, the field itself is very difficult. As a microbiologist, as a biologist, I think of it about life, life in extremes. What are the limits of life? So my interest came from wanting to know if we could find the evidence of life, and that didn't have to be the microbes, that could be the remains of the life, the, the organic um, side, or even, as we've been doing more recently, the inorganic biosignatures of life. Well, you first have to figure out, could you even need to have, the look, have to look at this point? Because as an earth scientist, my first question would be, what are the conditions there? So to me, astrobiology is always first the question about what are the conditions? What, is, um, what elements are in this environment? What is the temperature? And it, could anything live there? And then I go to Karen and she asked the question about her extremes. Think. The uniqueness of our group and why we've kind of done so well is the fact we're really doing that exciting science at the boundaries between these natural disciplines. Kind of that's what astrobiology is though, isn't it? It's not, it's, it's, a, it's a multitude of disciplines all working together. Then you also have to ask the question, if we want to investigate other planets for life, how do we make sure that our investigation today doesn't hamper future investigations? In other words, planetary protection, that belongs to that discipline as well. Mm. But there's also the, what if we do find it? Yes. You know, there's those really difficult questions. You know, what do we do in those circumstances? And, and I suppose as scientists we might say, well, perhaps that's not what we need to think about. But that's juicy. That's the kind of thing that we really do want to start yes. to think about. And how do we then communicate that with the public if we find evidence? And we have to do it sensibly and, yes. you know, with appropriate caution. Right now, the question, are we alone? The answer is likely yes. But the moment you were to find something elsewhere and the answer becomes no for definite, that changes everything.